welcome to my channel and today we're going to be doing like a messy-ish we'll say depending on how where you get paint ever if you get paint everywhere Ugh, can't seem to talk today but that's okay <laughs> so what this is going to be is you know that rainbow scratch card stuff that's been going around that Arteza, Arteza, however you want to say it, I'm not sure how to say it, is, you know, scratched, it's black, and then underneath there's like rainbow colors and stuff and different patterns, and you scratch the black, and you get pretty colors underneath your drawing, or in your drawing. Um, I mentioned that I used to do that as a kid, make it my own self. Now, this has been done before, but I'm going to try it, because it's actually been quite a while since I've done it. So this could completely go tits up, and I could go get this completely messed up. But I'm crossing my fingers that this works. I haven't done it with oil pastels, so I'm gonna try that. Somebody, I, you know, somebody said like try that. But crayons. Now you don't need Crayola crayons. You can just use whatever crayons you have. I'll move this mouse. It's in the way. That's kind of in the way. <laughs> but like I said you don't need Crayola crayons. You can use whatever cheap crayons you get at like the dollar store, pound store wherever. It doesn't have to be Crayola. I just have these sitting around. I've had them forever. I might as well use them. So, I'm going to try crayons, bill pastels. So let's try with the crayons first. I don't know what color I'm going to do. Let's try... We're just going to do simple tests. This is not going to be anything exciting. Now, you don't have to use black. I said you don't have to use black paint. This is just cheap black paint. Probably, this is from the works. You don't need black paint, but the works. Cheap books, cheap, relatively okay art supplies, you know, especially, bleh, especially if you're learning. You don't need a black. You, any dark color, actually any color will work, but dark colors seem to work the best. So, I'm just going to do a very simple, I need another color, because that's kind of boring. Let's do pink. Pink works. Pink out of that. Oh, well, okay, we're doing purple then. <laughs> Apparently it's purple, and let's keep dropping this. Ha! Yeah. Okay, so crayons first. And I'm just gonna put the colors wherever because this is just a you know to see if this actually works the way I remember it. Now on to the oil pastels. And these are just what are these? These are Kohinoor, is that how you say it? I don't know how to say it. I really don't. So we'll go green this time with that. Those are dark pastels. That's not going to work. So what have we got here for oil pastels? We have... I thought they were oil pastels. Guess not. They don't feel like chalk pastels, but hey, they are apparently, so that was wrong. What do we got for oil pastels in here? Let's see, we have a blue, a green, and a brown, boring. Uh, oh, here we go. Orange, that'll work. These colors do not match it, or do not go together really at all. So let's try again. Yeah, that's better. I'm thinking that just didn't feel quite right. Okay, paint. Let's dust this off first. And a cheap basic paintbrush. Nothing expensive. Because, you know, I'm just trying stuff. But we'll just go like this, and it doesn't matter because, and I just already got paint over myself. How did that happen? And I haven't even bloody started painting yet. <laughs> ah, paint everywhere. But, so just paint over it. Now some people use soap. I never used soap as a kid. So I don't actually know why you use soap. Is it like, do they thin the paint out? Is it to go over things? Who knows? I really don't know. And I just put my thumb in the damn thing again. This is going so well. Not really. I think that's a bit thick. Hey, you know what? We'll just put it over here to see what it does. It doesn't actually work right over the chalk pastel. And the dog is barking again. 
she has either seen somebody or something that she does not like. But that's really shiny. That's okay. Because the lights, which I can't fix that because if I turn the lights off, it's really dark. So, now that it's dry now, and then I'll come back, and once it's dry, I'll scratch things away to see if it actually works. So the paint is dry now, and in, the oil pastel side, it's got like this, like, uh, had reacted. Obviously it didn't react because it's oil pastel, so it's it, the paint is in the water, it's going to leave kind of a mark. So I don't know why people use oil pastels. Besides maybe being able to blend the colors better on the card paper you're using, but I don't like how you can see where the pet colors are put down, and you might be able to see that. Yeah, you can see better there how it's got like this little it's shiny here, but then kind of matte there, and it shows up. But the, cut, the crayon side, it doesn't have that same thing. And yeah, okay, it's a little shiny here, and I've tried to fix the lighting, and I've done as best as I could, but... Without the lights on, like I said before, it's really dark, and it's Scotland at the moment, so it's very grey outside, and kind of, well, it was snowing, I don't think it's snowing anymore, but it's not exactly been the best weather here, but, so, you need to do this, you need, you don't need skewers, these are just for, like, kebabs or something, probably, but we haven't done anything with, toothpicks work, any, like, a plastic that's not too sharp, these might actually be a bit too sharp. The points might be a bit too pointy, but we'll find out. So yeah, now I'm going to try to scratch something. I'm not, I'm not drawing anything specific, I'm just making marks. And I can't remember where, or you can kind of see where it is, but nowhere near like this side where you can clearly see that. But let's try again this. So and there's it came off a little bit there because I accidentally touched it with something when it wasn't was so wet and this has got it's not exactly the best paint job you can kind of see it's a little bit too thick in some spots but so don't do that do a better job getting the paint down than I did but this was supposed to be a very quick little thing so let's see if this works it might be too sharp no hey, it works actually maybe it is a bit too sharp but yeah see it kind of works maybe I need to put like more paint on I think that's the problem clean off that Yeah, I think not enough paint. Or that's too sharp. I think it's too sharp. What else could I use? Let me think. I think, well, this would definitely be too sharp because it's very pointy. It's for etching. It's very pointy. But we'll see if it works. Yeah, no, too sharp. Put that back in there and try not to, you know, bloody yourself. Let's see. I'm going to go look and see if there's anything else I can use. Found something. It's a little needle for like tying in the ends of when you're crocheting and stuff. This is going to be very difficult to even make any kind of mark. But because it's so tiny. Teeny tiny. But let's see if this works better. No. I think the problem is the paint. It is older paint. But. Put that back so I don't lose that in case I ever do any more crochet projects. I've been crocheting for years, but I still remember, like, with all the marks made and stuff, but I haven't crocheted for years. I haven't had time. So maybe I'll, I'm not going to do a project for YouTube for that, because I'm not that good of a crocheter. Really not. Anyway, that's completely off topic. So, but yeah, so if I had a different tool, or if I had to put another layer of paint on it, it would work a little bit better. But... If I had been a little bit more even putting down the paint, it probably would have worked better. See, it's not coming off where there's no crayon, so you can't see that. So it only works where there's crayon. Ah, make a mess! No, let's see if this actually works. Maybe this works better and it just leaves like a mark. So, clean that off again. No, it's the paint. Even though actually like, it's quite a bit color, put more color on that. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go, see? But, I think if I did this again, 
more another layer of paint probably yeah i think it'll do that so it kind of works it's not as clean as the arteza arteza however the hell you want to pronounce it i don't know how to pronounce it i've heard it pronounced many different ways it's like with my tablet it's huion or huon i don't really know i say huion but i could be wrong i don't know but so it does work this actually worked better actually looking at it it's not so this got pulled a little bit more this one is not pulled as much. Let's try this. Let's try something that's not so... No, it's the paint. This is cheap paint, but you can use any paint you want. But... Oh wait, I forgot about the, the chalk pastel that I messed up with, like, completely. I'm trying really hard not to swear here. I'm really trying hard not to hear, but swear, but that's never gonna happen. As I say, when I fucked up with the chalk pastels rather than the oil pastels, Obviously, this doesn't work, because it's... No, see? doesn't work at all. But, so yeah, kind of works. Obviously, the paper's a bit neater. I don't know what they use for the covering, the black thing. But, maybe that's why they put soap in it now. Maybe it creates an, an, a nicer thing. Maybe I'll try that later, and, like, another time. And if that works better, then I'll try that. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. But yeah, so this is how to make cheap... If you really don't want to spend the money and all you've got is just some card laying around and crayons and you really just, you know, want to mess around and do random stuff. But yeah, no, I would definitely put another layer of paint on here because that might be the problem. But I don't think it's going to go through here because that's way too thick. Yeah, no, that's too thick. Yeah, it's just peeling off. Could be the card too. It's kind of sort of matte. That might be an issue. Maybe I should use the other... Nah, use different card. Don't use a matte card. Or not, this is not matte. This is like semi-gloss kind of card. Can't remember. But yeah, use matte card. That works better. But yeah, so it kind of worked. Kind of didn't. Bit of a fail. But you know, hey. It, the whole point of this is to see, you know... Learn things that I, for my mistakes and all that stuff, and this is a mistake. Well, not so much a mistake. Wrong card. And paint wasn't put on properly, sort of. That's my fault. But yeah, so thank you for watching me attempt to do this. Something I haven't done since I was probably about eight. So, 30, hmm... 29 years? 30 years? 30 I, I don't know. I'm not mathing right today. But, so that's this. And, yeah. Next video will be digital. It's going to switch traditional digital, hopefully. And, yeah. That's it. So, you can try yourself. It's not hard. And it probably works a lot better when you don't have semi-gloss card. I think that might be the issue here. So, yeah. Next time, I'm going to try this matte card. 